Good morning, Dr. Eric Klajinski here, Fanwood Back Relief Center, offering you uh, relief of your back and neck pain. Today we're gonna to talk about some truths and myths associated with vitamin C. Uh, there's a lot of misconceptions about vitamin C. Some stuff is true here, some stuff is false, but it's all based on the research done on consuming vitamin C. The first big myth we're gonna talk about is how vitamin C can fight off a cold. Taking vitamin C on a regular basis anywhere between 1,000 and 2,000 um, a day can help to lessen the symptoms associated with the common cold, but it doesn't necessarily prevent you from getting the cold. Um, this is what the research has shown. So it's a good idea to take it on a regular basis if you're not eating a lot of foods that have um, a great deal of vitamin C, and it will help um, make those symptoms a little bit uh, less severe. Uh, and maybe even shorten the duration you're sick, but it's not gonna completely fight it off. That's number one. Number two, uh, vitamin C deficiencies. In Western uh, societies like the United States and Canada, um, vitamin, d deficiency, vitamin C deficiencies are extremely rare. Uh, and it's because of a lot of the foods that we eat have plenty of vitamin C adequate enough to meet your daily requirement. Um, in impoverished countries, this is not the case, and that's when uh, conditions like scurvy can occur, uh, where, you, where you have the symptoms you know, associated with scurvy. Uh, another myth associated with vitamin C is that the best source of vitamin C is citrus fruits, you know, like uh, oranges, grapefruits. Um, actually, better sources are things like red peppers. Um, they have two to 400 milligrams of vitamin C compared to an orange has about 70. Um, other good sources of vitamin C include, include Brussels sprouts, broccoli, papaya, cantaloupe. These are just some non other uh, good sources of vitamin C. Not to say that eating oranges or tangerines or grapefruit or other citrus fruits are bad. Um, they're just not uh, the biggest bang for your buck when it comes to vitamin C uh, consumption. Another thing we're gonna talk about in regards to vitamin C is um, how it can, and a lot of people don't know this, uh, affect the obesity rates. Uh, consuming vitamin C on a regular basis has been shown through the medical research to uh, lower BMI, um, also affect body fat percentage and waist circumference. Um, basically, the, the researchers conclude that uh, vitamin C plays a role in your body's ability to use fat as a source of fuel during exercise and rest, rest and recovery. Um, another myth about vitamin C is that you can't overdose on it. And this is, entire, this is not true. Um, you know, your body can't store vitamin C in excess. So once you hit that 1,000 or even 2,000, I think is the max the body can, cons can uh, consume and utilize, the rest just gets excreted through the kidneys. Um, and if you're taking a, a vast amount, where I, I hear people taking eight to 10,000, 20,000 a day to help fight off a cold, it can cause uh, a, a bunch of symptoms to occur, like bloating, um, uh, gastrointestinal pain, um, uh, even nausea or vomiting, vomiting, headaches, insomnia, and obviously we talked about kidney problems. It can actually cause you to develop kidney stones because of all the exc excretion of the vitamin C through the kidneys. Uh, so these are some common uh, myths um, and truths about vitamin C. Of course, if you have any questions about your particular um, you know, condition, why you're taking vitamin C, um, what, how much you should take personally, because it does vary depending on you know, your, your body weight and what your diet looks like, um, I'd be more than happy to help you. Just give us a call, shoot me a message, um, and well, we can help you out. If there's anything else you need, you can check our website at fanwoodbackrelief.com. Any other questions? Uh, not in regards to vitamin C, but other things that we treat in our office. Um, we'd be glad to help you. We get lots of questions every day uh, through social media and obviously through phone. Uh, but we're here and always happy to answer your questions as quickly as possible. Hopefully everyone has a great day. This was some use to you. If you liked the video, please click like and share. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.